Uh, so just to talk you through the startup. So been around the plane, checked that uh, the tanks are full, controls are free, everything looks right. It's always easier to check it on the ground than in the air. Um, so you just make sure you're happy before you get okay, going. Putting the fuel pump on, checking for the fuel pressure. Good. Right, so the uh, RPM down to a thousand, my oil pressure is good and I'm waiting for my oil temperature to come up. Tanks are both full, uh, battery is charging at the moment, there's my voltmeter down over there. Uh, it's on the GPS, just lean the mixture so we don't file the plugs while we just warm the engine up slowly. Okay, everything's set up correctly, there's a wonderful feature on these bows called noise cancelling which makes a world of difference as you can hear in my ears now lot quieter. So fuel pressure, everything is good. Obviously temperatures need to come up, uh, waiting for those to get into the green. But what we can do is just taxi down uh, to the start. We don't give radio calls initially now. I am on the right frequency just because they usually say that we're just clogging their airways with that. So what you do is you just taxi carefully, keeping a good lookout. So look left, nothing on my left, and then look right. That's all good. Look at these birds. Not small. But when we take off, uh, birds generally are a bit of a problem, uh, you don't want to hit them. Uh, they will get out the way and generally you'll see that they actually dive, uh, go below you. Generally don't go down when a bird is coming towards you. We're coming down to the run-up area. Good airmanship, you generally don't want to blast the guy's hangar just behind, so face away from it. There we go. So generally the first thing you do, brakes are on, change fuel tanks because you want to make sure that your tank is going to work. Um, this is one I'm going to use for the run-ups. It's got two tanks in this plane. Just going to wait until the temperatures come up a little bit to see it's a bit in the green there. Right, mixture can go fully rich. Um, temperatures are fine. I'm going to start raising the RPM to 1700. Brakes are holding. So the first thing is carb heats, brings it down a little bit, mags, left, right, that's all good, lean the mixture, it rises before it drops, so I can see the drop, that's fine, and then slow idle, suction was good, to check that, and back to 1000 RPM, right that's good, let's do final checks, check controls, full and free movement, Throttle friction up, finger tight, trim, two back for takeoff. Mixture, it's full, mags, master, pitch, primer, P's and T's, few of those, fuel, fuel pump is on, and I have enough for my flight. Gills, gyros, gyros, hatches, Harnesses, I'm strapped in, and electrics, I'm happy with those. That's all where it should be. Okay, everything is in order, we're ready for takeoff. We'll just go into the circuit uh, initially. Now we can do a radio call. Morning, Star Traffic, India Trolley Echo, Vans RV8, lining up runway 02. I'll remain in the circuit initially. Not too many people flying, so it should be relatively quiet as we go. Right. I'm happy with everything, that all looks good. I've got the right QNH setting. Right, RPM is alive, fixed pitch propeller, airspeed is alive, up on the front wheels, keep it straight down the runway. RPM good, airspeed is good, she'll take off herself. Now, there we go. Keep it low, let the speed build. That's nice. Straight ahead. What we're doing now is reaching through the uh, Delta 200, it's the general flying area, frequency 1244. Uh, we're going to go to the Atlantis Dunes and uh, fly around that area. Done the radio calls. This is certain features we always know. Brickworks is over here. Then you go past the shooting range and then you hit the Atlantis Dunes. So some blue sky above us. Um, fairly clear, otherwise oh, visibility is okay-ish. Well, there's the Atlantis dunes just ahead of us. 
usually some guys doing 4x4s four and stuff like that and we can go around there and have a look power lines behind us and to our right fuel pump can switch on extra rich and just slightly I'm happy with all my temperatures fuel, radio on the right frequency, engine happy with that the outer compass and airframe happy, everything's done So once we go on through uh, Delta 200, another common area we fly to is uh, Bookpint. We're now at frequency 1258 and we need 1248 uh, if we go much further from here. So we monitor that on the coast. Beautiful day. Sometimes we see whales, sometimes we see dolphins. But I'm not too sure today. Charlie Echo, inbound from the northeast. I'll be overhead in uh, one minute. Morning, Charlie Echo, right hand down in zero two. flight from the Vans LV8. Um, this is a matter of interest, that's what it looks like from uh, this side. Colours of beautiful doll, P51 Mustang. Uh, there's the old instruments, not too much glass in there, just keep it, keep it old and interesting I think is probably the best. <laughs> 